Ben. Nothing but a chicken shit. Come on, it's getting late. Jacob? Jacob? <laughs> See? You are a chicken shit. <laughs> like I said, Samuel, I ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> We're not lost. <laughs> okay. I'm just not exactly sure where we are. Well, I for one am glad. <laughs> one more boring open field where General So and So fought General Little Dick, and I'll go nuts. Whoops. I thought you liked the last stop. One word. <laughs> oh, don't listen to him, Stacy. It's obvious Brian has no appreciation for his country's history. Hey, history hey. is fine, but we have a whole three day weekend to work on this project, and all we've done so far is. Work on this project. Yeah, yeah. What else did you have in mind? I don't care. I'm dying of boredom here. I don't care. Like, let's keep a cow or something, huh? Anything. Okay, I'm with Brian on this one. What? Stace, how many old mills and covered bridges can we see on one trip? Uh, the assignment is documenting rural Americanized cultural history. Yeah. But uh, we had no idea hillbilly land was going to be such a snooze fest. I mean, look, we can't uh, hey, these... hey, hey, hey. I vote Get back. for the next roadside redneck bar we see. We stop and see if we can get served. Now? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. What about the project? Sounds like you have a mutiny on your hands. Only if something doesn't happen soon to spice up the strip. Fine, fine. Just give me a second. I need you to find out where we are. <laughs> oh! Shit, Stacy, you almost hit that kid. Yeah, you're moving in the middle of the road. <laughs> hey, kid, what are you doing? Get out of the road, man. Do it, Stacy! He's gonna get killed! Hey there, little guy. What are you doing here, huh? Hey, kid, what are you doing without me? <laughs> what the hell was that? What the hell was that? I thought it was a little boy. You've got to be kidding me. Great. How's this for spicing things up, Brian? Well, boys, why don't you show us what real men you are and change the tire? Oh, that could be a problem. Mmm, what do you mean? When Sanjay and I loaded the SUV, we uh, left the spare. What? Why? Between all the camping gear and you guys overpacking, 
Plus, I needed to make room for the beer cooler. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The beer seemed like a priority. It really did. Yeah, until you get a flat in the middle of bumfuck with no spare. Shit, no bars. Now what? Hey! <laughs> There's a sign there that says gas, two miles. Yeah, they could have a tire. You think it's still open? There's no way to find out, come on. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on there, Lewis and Clark. It's like two miles there and two miles back, if it still exists. That's far. Yeah, and I'm not really comfortable leaving the SUV here with all our stuff in it. Well, we could probably make it on the rims if we drive slow. Works for me. Get in the car. Hi. Weird. What? I still can't find this area on the map. Howdy! And welcome to another exciting episode of Redneck TV! On today's show, we take an in-depth look at one of the Ozark's most common indigenous species, the backwoods hillbilly. Our first sighting, a few miles back, roadkill and the ghastly things that eat it happened so fast we couldn't get pictures. But this time, we got our trusty camera ready. Hey! Why don't you actually make yourself useful and see if the old guy's got a tire? Okay? Hey. Well, folks, I'm not sure if you're aware, but we were just attacked by an actual red tip twatty bird. She's real firecracker. Brian! All right. <laughs> hey, rise and shine, old timer. Evil slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. Excuse me, sir. Um, we were wondering if you could help us. We got a flat a couple of miles back. I know why you're here. You just like all the rest, huh? Uh, sir, uh, we were hoping that maybe you had a tire that the you could buy. The past ought to stay right where it's at. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. I don't think we really understand what you're talking about. I'll tell you what, what you ought to do is just uh, turn around and just go right back where you come from. Yeah, laugh all you want, boy. You outsiders poking around out here trying to find out about the legend, yeah. Uh, legend? You know, it, it, it ain't done nothing but just give the, 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 the town a bad name is all. The town? Shallow. You know, some things you... You just don't touch, you know. You just, you don't. You just, you just walk away. You walk away, and uh, that's what I tell them all. But don't nobody never listen. Yeah. <laughs> Look, dude, we got a flat on your shitty ass road a few miles back. <laughs> and, oh, that's, that's cool. And we just need to know if you have a tire we can buy from you. Capiche? Yeah, I got, I got a whole pile of them out back here. Be um. Twenty dollars a tar. Go pick yourself out one. Thanks. Come on, Sarge. Hey, Ryan, don't take too long, okay? What was up with that guy? Dude, it's just a gimmick or something. He acts weird, floats in some crap about a legend, so people hit town and spend money there. He's totally harmless. Look, sir, I'm really sorry to bother you again. It's just, uh, it's getting kind of late, and we're not exactly sure which way it is to the main highway. You want to know which way to go? Yeah. <laughs> the way of life is above to the wise that he may depart from hell beneath. Thanks. Thanks for your help. That was, that was great. Held one. That'll be $20 cash. You sure got a lot of tires back there. Yeah, you know, folks pass through, you know, they they leave all kinds of useful stuff. Is that right? Yeah. One man's trash. 
How can we find out more about that legend you were talking about? You weren't listening, were you, boy? Some stones is best left unturned. <laughs> He's just jerking us around. This whole place is a tourist trap, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> city folks come here, so you send them to that town, they can buy t-shirts and postcards and crap. There's no real legend, right? Brian, let's go. <laughs> well, if, if you really want to know... Uh, oh, I do. The truth is in the word. <laughs> what does that mean? The truth huh? in the word. <laughs> Thanks for the tire, sir! You better read that Bible, boy. Leviticus 21, 16. The truth is in the word. Thank you. The truth in the word. The truth in the word. <laughs> Why did you pull me away? You were provoking him, Brian. No, I wasn't. I was investigating. Investigating what? Our next stop. No, Brian, can we please go back to the main highway, please? No, oh, we will. After we make a little pit stop. You know what? You said yourself it was a bunch of crap. Okay, true or not, legends are part of the cultural history, right? Which makes them perfect material for our report. Hmm. Plus, think how killer it'll be if we find any hicks half as good as Billy Bob over there. I'm in. What? Oh, come on. No offense, Stace, but we really spent half this trip on your world's biggest twine bullshit. <laughs> come on, let's have some fun with this. There's your sense of adventure. Sanj, you're the deciding vote, buddy. No, I'm not. Sanj. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, I guess, strictly from a project perspective, it couldn't hurt to touch on a local legend. Of course. No, to, you know, see where it gets its roots, what its social relevance is. Fine, whatever you guys want, but as soon as we hit a dead end, we're out of there, okay? Great! Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Give me a hand, dog. With what? It looks like we finally failed something worth exploring. Come on, let's go. Let me, let me, let me. like the town's having a revival. A revival? Mm-hmm. My grandparents took me to one once. It lasts all night. It's basically an opportunity for the town's community to come together and reaffirm its faith, you know? Yeah. Well, I see it as an opportunity to drink heavily and make fun of some hicks. <laughs> Who's game? See yourselves. I'm going solo! It wasn't part of the deal! Fuck. I'll get him. I'm gonna get thirsty. Oh, my way. Hey. Don't take too long, okay? Yeah. Seriously, I will leave. Are you asleep? No. Yes, you are. I'm not. Quiet. Ryan! Like 
There's going to be some healing going on tonight. Oh, yeah, we got to tell Station Sanji about this. Holy shit! Don't do that, man. You know, the lower house is always open to those in need. Oh, hair lip. Thanks. You know, we don't get many outsiders around here. Got a problem, friend? No, no problem, friend. Just a little curious about your intentions. Let me see how that's any of your look, business. Look, look, um, we're just doing some research for a history class. That's it. Research? Yeah. You know, we're, uh, we're looking into anything that's culturally relevant to an area. History, songs, literature, legends, blah, blah, blah. Ah, now I see we got a couple of thrill seekers here. Did you come to check out the legend? You know it? Sure, you're talking about the albino farm, right? Did you just say albino farm? What, you mean like dudes who need a Ted? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it ain't no joke. That's just a name that got attached to it a long time ago. But the truth is, there was all kinds kept there. Okay, we'll bite. All kinds of what? Damned souls. <laughs> well, I'm afraid you're just chasing your tails. There ain't nothing in those woods, but more woods. That's just a story that old folks have been telling kids around here for years, you know, to put the fear of God into them. A bunch of crap. Last chance of salvation, friend. We gotta get back to our car, thanks. <laughs> Jesus loves you. Thank you for the news flash. <laughs> what a dick. Seriously, two more minutes and I'm leaving them. You said that two minutes ago. Hey! I'm just about to leave you guys. What did we miss? <laughs> Nothing but a bunch of Jesus freaks. <laughs> Here. Ha. Now we know what we're looking for. Are we in? What's Sweet, so we've seen a blind guy, a dwarf, and a dude with a hair lip, so all I have to do now is marry my cousin and I can officially become a citizen of Shiloh. Didn't your parents already do that, Brian? <laughs> yeah, something's really not right. It's really weird. Or Stacy, you can just marry Sanjay. Okay. Oh, Hilarious. Hilarious. Thanks. Thank you for making it awkward. You make a good husband. Seriously, Brian, an albino farm? What the hell is an albino farm? I don't know, but that's what the weirdo at the tent called it. It's like way out in the woods somewhere, yeah, and he car. said there are all get kinds kept there. All kinds of what? I don't know. That's what we're gonna find out. Yeah, yeah, but he also said it's just a story the old folks get a kick out of telling around here, so it does not mean it's true. Sanj, help me out here. Well, most legends and fables do find their roots from a modicum of truth. It's just a matter of deciphering how far that truth has been stretched over time. Well, I'm much more interested in deciphering a bathroom and some food, please. This is the happening place. Watch it, asshole! Uh-oh. Maybe we should go inside. Guys, come on.
Thank you. Thank you. Hey, so much for Southern hospitality. Hey, what is with this place? Hey, guys, let's just forget food. We can find something once we're back on the road. No way, I'm starving. Besides, we haven't really scoped this place out yet. We just need to find someone who's friendly. Friendly. <laughs> Good luck. Well, how y'all doing? My name is Shelby. Hi, Shelby. Hi, Shelby. What can I get for y'all? Um, we... Burgers, we'll just have some burgers. Would you like some fries with that? Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, can you make that too, please? Two burgers and fries. And for you boys? Hello? Hello? Earth, mm. and salt. Uh, yeah, uh, no burgers for us, actually. Oh, we'll take two cantaloupes. <laughs> Ow! No, no, don't listen to them. They'll just have what we're having. Uh, no, I don't want meat. Uh, can I have a grilled cheese? I'll get that right out for y'all. Thank you. What'd you do that for? You're such a Neanderthal. They're huge. <laughs> Can I get y'all anything else? Uh, can you tell us where the closest church is? Church? Research. Oh, I got ya. Leviticus 21, 16. <laughs> the truth is in the word. Just go around the corner, walk about three blocks that way. It's the tallest structure in town. I'm sure you won't miss it. Thank you, Shelby. Uh, is it open this late? Oh, sure it is, honey. The Lord's house is always open for those in need. So we've heard. So, Shelby, how long have you lived in this town? Ah, oh, I've been here my whole life. My entire family is from around here. We go pretty far back. So, have you heard of any strange stories or places associated with the town? Strange stories? Nope. Nothing strange around here. Not a whole lot going on. Pretty much what you see is what you get. Well, if there's nothing else I can get you all, please come to me leave your check and you can just pay me whenever you're ready. Did you guys see that? What, the waitress's hand? Yes. I saw something like that on TV once. The story about this guy called the Amazing Turtle Boy. <laughs> hey, guys, the car's over here. Oh, yeah. He was part of a circus freak show because both of his hands were just like Shelby. You know, like flippers like a turtle? <laughs> anyway, he married a contortionist or something, had a couple of kids, and guess what? <laughs> his kids were born of flippers just like him. And that is part of nature, Brian. She has a birth defect, you have a brain defect. What is your point? I'm telling you, this town is ripe with freaky hillbilly culture. We gotta find that albino farm. Yeah, and how are we gonna do that? Why don't we ask him? Kids always know about this stuff. Dolly, come with me. Ah. Hey, what about us? You guys find that church? Uh, we'll meet back here in half an hour. What do you think? What do I think? Um, I think we're never gonna get out of here. That's what I think. Let's go. Come on! Come on! Okay. Hold on. All clear. He's not a freaky old midget. Right. Ow. Talk to him. I'll talk to him. You're good with kids. Hi. Um, we were looking for something and we wanted to know if you could help us. Yeah? Good. Okay. Um, do you know anything about an albino farm? They know. They who? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan. Okay, I'm all for fun, but you cannot be serious about this. We came this far, at least we can see if they know anything. No! <sighs> Shelby! 
Cheer up. Things are not that bad. Brian will wander around, bother a few people, find nothing, and then we can get out of here. Yeah, I know. It's just he's so... You know, I just get the feeling he's doing anything he can to keep us from really working. I uh, know, you can be a little much sometimes. Yeah, you can say that again. But what's that American saying, huh? His, uh, his dog is worse than his bark? <laughs> I think he means his bark is worse than his bite. Hello. <laughs> is that a smile? Uh-uh. I think I see a smile. Nope. Things are not that bad. Well, I think we're here. After you. Thank you, sir. Yes, madame. Can I help you? Yeah. The little boy over there said you know where the albino farm is. Probably shouldn't go looking for something I don't want to be found. So you know where it is? Oh, sure. Well, you gonna tell us? Nope. But I can show you. Full price. Yeah. What? Absolutely not, Brian. There's no way I'm getting in that car with Chester the Molester and two kids that don't even look old enough to drive. Look. No. We'll just have him show us where it is. We'll bring us back here, then we can go back out with Stacey and Sanjay and prove it. No. No. Well, he's totally harmless. They're like his kids or something. They'll be fine. Famous last words, Brian. Mm. How much? $25. Plus my boys here. Get to feel up your woman. What? No. No, no way. Fine. No deal. But, uh, good luck on finding the place by yourselves. <laughs> Come on, Mel. Are you serious? It's just your boobs. It's like feeling up your elbow. No, 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 Brian. It's not like feeling up my elbow. Fuck that. Look, I, I know how this is gonna play out, okay? Okay? I get groped, and they drive us out into the middle of nowhere, show us a chicken coop, and say it's at the albino farm? No. Oh, no, Miss Lou, I promise you. You won't be disappointed. 20 bucks in a flash. Right. That's our final offer. You got yourselves a deal. Brian. <laughs> Mel, take one for the team. It'll make their night. Fuck you, Brian. No, don't. Just shut up. Don't say anything. You're looking good. See, that wasn't so bad. No, yeah, no, yeah, fine. Mm. Next time you be reduced to hit jerk off the chair. Not this way. Cherry to wait you. here almost as long as the town has. It's the foundation of our community. Oh, that's a shame. What's that, honey? Ah, uh, that beautiful painting on the wall has been damaged. No, ma'am. That's how the artist intended it. We like to think of Christ's image as open to all sorts of interpretations, <laughs> each one beautiful in its way. Oh. Here you go. Oh, thank you. I have to admit, we're not used to getting many outside visitors. We really appreciate you letting us in so late at night. Thank you. Oh, the Lord's house is always open to those in need. <laughs> you know, I've lived here my whole life, probably taken care of more than half the kids in this town at one time or another. If you're looking for someone, maybe I could help. Well, not someone. We're, um, 
this may sound crazy, but have you ever heard of a place called the Albino Farm? No. Listen here, honey. I don't know what you're getting at, but there's no place around here with that name. Uh, it's an old legend. It's supposed to have its roots in this area. Now, like I said, boy, there ain't nothing around here called that. Nosy pigs. interpretation. There's definitely something weird about this town. Speaking of weird, you have got to listen to this. I just found that quote, the one the old guy was talking about. Listen to this. Leviticus 21, 16. Then the Lord said to Moses, tell Aaron that in all future generations, his descendants who have physical defects will not qualify to offer food to their God. Qualify defects. Wait, no one who has a defect may come near to me whether he is blind or lame, stunted or deformed, has a broken foot or hand, or has a humped back or is a dwarf. It actually says humped back and dwarf in there. Right there in black and white. Uh, because of his physical defect, he must never go behind the inner curtain or come near the altar for this would desecrate my holy places. I don't understand what does this have to do with the legend. I don't know. People around here are a little vague, to say the least. Yeah, see, that's part of the problem. No one's giving us straight answers, right? Hence why I'm still stuck here. Come on. Ma'am? We have a couple of questions for you. Uh, Ma'am, we just need to ask you a couple of things and then we can go. Besides, we're right where you wanted us to take you. Right through there's the farm.
crazy asshole! What do you think you do? Right! Come on, right! You ever been in? You all know what went on in there? Hmm? Damn well better be good. Funny thing is about a place like this is, even though it's all chained up and forgotten, a bit of those who were done wrong still remain. What does that mean? It means you can bury the past, but that don't mean it didn't happen. That don't mean it won't come back and bite you out the ass at some point either. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't tell you no more than that now, can I? No, right, huh? right, right. Shit! What the hell's in there? <clears throat> You want to know so bad? Hmm? You want to know? I want to stay here. I don't want to stay here. Would you want to get back in the car? Hmm? Why don't you get the fuck out of here? Knock. Your sale. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? Just come on. Brian! We need to get back in the car. At least we're here. F fine, fine. What do you want? What do you want me to do? Get on the line. Spend four hours walking back to town. I'm at least gonna see a little bit of this farm. I'm gonna kill you. Stop fun with you. Oh. I'm gonna kill you. I swear to God. Fire it out. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Country. But in mine, that lady was way too old to be doing that. And what was wrong with that baby? <laughs> no, there is seriously something messed up here. Uh, where are Brian and Melody? I don't know. They said they would meet us here, right? Hey. No! <laughs> where did you come from? Do you know where our friends are? Yeah? Where are they? Albino farm. You think our friends are at Albino farm? Can you tell us where that is? Definitely old, like Civil War old. Shh, this is not safe. Ah, I'm worried too much. These old structures are about as solid as you can get. See, asshole? God! What the fuck is that? I saw something over there. Brian! Brian! I'm serious! Don't mess with me! I bet it's that buck to kill me, bastard. Fucking circled around and he's trying to scare us. I see you, you fuck! Wait, wait! Ryan!
to God, when I catch him, I'm going to beat his hillbilly ass to a pulp. <laughs> All right, you want to play games? I think they're in there, Sanj. Should we go in? Play it harder! Shit. Harder, damn it! Sorry, I can't get it open. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's Stacy and Sanj. Okay. I'm gonna get help. I'm gonna get help. Hey! What do you think? Should I honk again? I don't know. Is that Melody?
Shit! No bars. Okay, I could have told you that, Sissy. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, here's the deal. You two stay here, I'll run in, find Baron, and then we can all get the hell out of here. No, no, no. We stay together. Fine. No, 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 I am not going back in there. What you about guys? Ryan, Mel? Fuck him. What? No. We wouldn't be out here if it wasn't for him. I say fuck him. Fuck okay. it. Just be quiet. The fact is, Ryan's still in there in his heart. We can't just leave him. It's okay. We're going back in there. No, I'm not going back in there. Listen. No, for a second. It's fine. We're still going there. It's okay. No. No. What is that for? Sanjay. Stacy. Stacy! Fuck this. Fuck this. You can't get me back in there for a million bucks. Stacy. There's something wrong with this place. Could we be stupid if we keep going further in? You guys, whatever we saw in that camera, the body happening is right now. Right now. See? They're gonna keep messing with us until we leave. Look, look. I saw his ankle. That can't be Brian.
Oh, it's my laptop. They don't, they look real. No, this is fucked! It's like some sort of graveyard of tree shit! Oh no, maybe someone from town like this to scare people away. That is it! That is it! I'm not taking one step further into that place! God, you guys are fucked! You're fucked if you want me, I'm going back to town. That's it! Really? Wait! No! No, they are messing with us! God, we are being watched! I can feel it! I can feel it! You two can feel it too! You're just too stupid to admit it! I am not going further in! That's what they want to do! I'm not gonna stick around for some hillbilly fuck to put me in that goddamn tree! No! Mel! What are you doing? Oh, that's him. That's right, that's right, come. Oh, help me!
Can you walk? Come on. Ugh. souls who are present here and they've been here this whole time uh, preying on people who got too close it's okay it's okay it's okay come on 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 come on
of God is being revealed from heaven against all godlessness and wickedness of men who suppress the truth. I repeat, the wrath of God is being revealed against all godlessness and wickedness of men who suppress the truth. I say, woe! Woe to the wicked! Disaster! is upon them. They shall be paid back for what their hands have done. Help me, help me. albino farm and the people there and the, the, the legend the descendants please help me and the Lord spoke these words for I am the Lord your God and I am a jealous God punishing the children for the sins of the father <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Punishing the children for the sins of the fathers. The town. Oh, it's the whole town. <laughs> down. <laughs> Thank you.
Now is gone.